Hi guys, good morning. It's morning here. So um, back in the studio, downstairs in the basement, and I'm not gonna do underglaze. I'm going to, here's my idea. I'm gonna see how it works. I'm gonna do two coats of uh, Coyote's Gunmetal Green in the negative space. And then I'm going to do the lines in a satin, in a uh, matte, you know, satin matte glaze, Amico. Um, I don't know. That's just what came to me. Let's see what happens. And I'm going to, here's my plan is to, over the gunmetal green on the negative space, my plan is to wax over that and then pull the the uh, the stencil or transfer off so the gunmetal green will be waxed. Then I can just apply the black glaze um, for the lines and then wipe off any excess, which might be a little pain, but a little bit of a pain, but whatever. Let's see how it goes. That's my plan. Okay. Let's get started. I'm only going to do two coats because gunmetal green runs. Um, hmm. Well, I didn't think that through very well. This line here, I might have to cut that off. See? Hmm. Razor bladed off. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, because I made a mistake. I've never done it before. Darn it. I grabbed my water supply. Didn't really think it through on this one, Malls. Or maybe the line is supposed to be messy and not perfect. Right? How about, is this centered on here? Steady, can hold it steady. Boom. Eh? <sighs> smart. Wicked smart, although now it's all Maggie. I'm not sure if I care anymore. Who knows if this will even work? I'm just gonna give it a shot, okay? That's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to go light. I'm trying to go really light. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. You know what? It might be cool not being all perfect, tight lines. You know what I mean? Who fucking cares? Life's too shot. Plus, it'll be like. Um, it could be cool, you know? Where the two glazes meet, there could be like a melting I'm gonna go with that my friends Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. I'm waxing over the whole design and I have the worst wax ever. Uh, I ran out of like the good kind and never ordered like a better kind of wax. So if anybody has any suggestions on that, that would be great. 
So I'm just waxing over the entire thing in this clip and then you'll see what's next, which is I'm starting to peel the design off the vinyl design. And this is kind of a tedious process and you can see the wax is like crumbly and like just crappy. It was really hard to work with. So I think if I had a better wax, it would have been a lot easier. But nonetheless, um, I just worked with what I have and I'm pulling it off and I'm pulling it off like low um, and just getting rid of like the, the little dust, whatever pieces as I go. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You'll notice that I'm working with an X-Acto knife, which is like an awesome tool for this little project because it can get into like tiny little spaces and just kind of help me get this um, vinyl off. So um, that's a really good tool to have, you know, as a potter in general, you know. So anyway, in the next clip, I'm just like brushing off all the little crumbs, cleaning it up. Um, just picking off all the little yucky um, wax crumbs and then um, I got really anal <laughs> and you know was really focused on these like tight lines so I went back in to like clean them up which was a little unnecessary but um, you know I don't know you know I just got hyper focused on it it really didn't matter in the end I don't think Okay, so now it's time to glaze this baby and um, I'm using a thinner brush and a matte black uh, glaze by Amico. And I just kind of like loaded up that tiny little brush and just started painting in the, um, the negative space. And I did two coats of this. So I'm gonna um, speed it up in the next clip, but Here's where the fun begins. One thing I want to add is that the pressure I'm using um, when applying the glaze is very light. It's almost like I'm dropping the glaze into the little negative lines because if I have heavier pressure or harder pressure, it's going to like go all over the gunmetal green part that's waxed and it's going to be a pain in the ass to like wipe that off. So I'm just using a very light pressure. Um, and that's, you know, loading up the brush using the light pressure. And then here I'm just kind of like cutting it in as if I'm painting a wall, <laughs> like just so there's a crisp line there. So I'm just cutting in that black and then I'll glaze it, um, in a little bit. And now I'm just um, wiping off any excess glaze that's on top of the wax just to clean it up. Um, and now I'm just going to glaze. Uh, I'm going to do two coats of this um, matte black, you know, on the rim and then on the back. And then it's time to fire it and see what happens. Yay!
right, here she is. Oh my God. I love this. Look at that gunmetal green. Like it is just stunning. And it just, I'm so thrilled with how this came out. I fired it to a uh, cone six with a slow, cool schedule. And I just absolutely love it. And I'm going to use more of this gunmetal green going forward because I always forget how much I love it. It's beautiful. Curious what you guys think of um, this plate. And here's one last clip because I just couldn't help myself. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon.